Hello Aries, welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This is for the week of January 1st through 7th, 2023. Can you believe that already? I've pulled out my Earth Alchemy Oracle to get um, a supportive crystal plant energy. And then I am going to lay down from the Unicorn Oracle to get the theme energy for the week. And then I'm going to pull from my Crystal Power Tarot a card for each day to get the energy for the day. Um, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. You might want to watch all three of those to gain more insight into the week. If you like the reading, hit that like button, share it with your friends, leave me a comment. I do uh, appreciate all of your interaction. Here we go. Aries. Hope you all had a good new year too and a holiday. Amber and Dawn Redwood, Rewild, Druid Tree Keeper, Perception versus Reality. Uh, so if you have any Amber, perhaps um, carrying that around with you this week. Uh, all right, and let's our oracle. Listen to your heart. Awaken psychic abilities. Tune in to the infinite. Listen to that heart guidance. Listen to the, for that that intuition coming through. Oops. My cloth is moving. Sorry, guys. Let's see what we have. All right. Jumping out of the deck first off. Wow. Craziness. Is the Knight of Swords for Sunday, January 1st. I choose my battles carefully. Um, listen to that intuition, that clarity, and take action on it. Don't hesitate. Um, to take action where you need to take action, but choose your battles wisely. Um, use your intellect, your wisdom in uh, assessing situations and the potential for argument and that kind of thing. Watch your words on Sunday. Monday. The Ace of Wands, I'm inspired to follow my passion. Follow those passions. Where are you being led? What is your heart telling you? Where is your heart leading you and guiding you? What are you most passionate about? What do you desire? Perhaps taking some time on Monday to tune in. Um, to go within. And really examine your heart and where where it's at, what you desire, what you long for, what uh, you want your life to look like. Tuesday, the page of wands. I'm always open to good news. Good news coming in here. Messages. Pay attention. Pay attention. Wednesday, please. I'm ready for a breakthrough to success. The Ace of Swords. Yes. Breakthrough. That inspiration. That idea. That thought. That clarity of vision. Knowing where to act. That's coming in on Wednesday. Thursday, please. The Six of Cups on Thursday. I remember and treasure past happiness. Um, Thursday. It's all about balance, harmony, um, happiness. A little bit of nostalgia in this card. 
And perhaps it's revisiting old friends too. Or somebody from the past visiting you and uh, reminiscing on the, the past. Friday, the Knight of Cups. I know that the right person waits until I am ready. Yes, the Knight of Cups. Um, this emotional energy. Um, somebody perhaps sharing their heart with you, their deepest emotions, pouring themselves out to you. Um, and it says here, I know that the right person waits until I'm ready. So perhaps it's just you the need to be patient here and know. Um, that there is someone for you if that's what you're looking for. But to me, the Knight of Cups can be more than that. It's, it's not necessarily a love relationship, a, a love person. Um, it could be just somebody pouring themselves out. Um, it could also be your intuition coming in for you. Pay attention on, uh, that's Friday. Um, Saturday, the Queen of Cups. I trust my knowing and follow my heart. Yes. Just like it says here, listen to your heart. Awaken psychic abilities, tune into the infinite. Trust that heart guidance, that inner knowing, that inner voice and where it is leading you and guiding you. Trust that. Listen to that intuition. Saturday. That's a very important for you for Saturday. And in closing, Scales of Karma, Cycle of Disharmony, Creating New Traditions, Unfortunate Events. Interesting. Um, where is that one? I'll look that one up. 27. Oh, where are you? Life can often become a balancing act, juggling your physical needs with the needs of those around you, including family, can sometimes challenge your love light. Giving without the expectation of receiving is one way of achieving a better state of karma. You must look to find positive experiences from harsh lessons. When people feel good, they do good. When feeling down, people are more likely to throw emotional and energetic daggers toward those who've hurt them, even if it's only temporary. You must be self-aware as your emotional reactivity will dictate the balance of the energetic scale. Any negativity or toxicity can be purged now if you are willing to open your heart space and detach from these cycles. The benevolent Ascended Master Maha Kohan seeks your understanding, teaching light seekers of the spiritual and angelic hierarchy. His learnings encourage the soul to balance and correct its journey back to the sacred heart. His white head scarf reminds seekers to create more positive and loving interactions with purity to keep your scales better balanced. Hmm. The blessed Maha Kohan asks you to be aware of your conscious thought of others. Speaking negatively about a person only continues to further a cycle of negativity. Snap out of it. Acting in the heat of the moment will leave you red-faced and embarrassed. Examine the brightness of your love light. Protect your heart, but keep it open. Mm. There's an affirmation here. I relinquish control over expectation. I am free. All about that. Listening to that heart guidance. Listening to that heart guidance. And we have Gibo, meaning gift for our rune. 
all about that exchange of energies, about that balanced exchange. And that is what is needed this week. Keep things balanced. Keep a positive outlook. Um, shine your light into the world, that love. Listen to your heart. Let it guide you in every situation. This is what I have for you, Aries. Thank you for joining me. Have a blessed week.